is not just hump day. It's, you know it's, it's National Pie Day. Not pie as in 3.14, but pie as in the kind of pie you eat. So there is no way we're going to let this very important holiday sneak by here in Better yeah. Connecticut. And I'm so the place where we like to eat because there's a local pie shop in Connecticut with pretty fascinating history to help us celebrate. Dan O'Connor from the Frisbee Pie Company is telling us about the connection between the flying disc and pies. Dan, it's so nice to see you. Thank you, Scott. Thanks for, Thank having, you, thanks for coming board. on in. We appreciate Thank that. Thank you for Hi, having nice me. Nice to really have you. Having me today on this uh, brisk, cool, how would you say, January day. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Thank you so much. So, so this is it. It all comes down to this. Frisbee came from this? Scott, you're absolutely right. Could you imagine one of these flying around no, on a hit. college campus <laughs> and getting hit in the head. What's the first thing you yell? Frisbee! There you go. So and that's they, what happened. They, they used to take their pie tins way back at Yale University, throw them, and if you were, it was coming near you, people would yell Frisbee, and then they invented the Frisbee toy because of that? Well, actually, it's a little bit behind that story. Okay. Because of metal and tin and baking, that's what was going on through that time period. As the advent of plastics became available, a gentleman out in the West Coast named Fred Morrison was working on a plastic Frisbee. Okay. Okay. Came up through Connecticut as they were marketing with a company called Whammo. Whammo. Absolutely. They saw the college kids and the craze going on throughout Connecticut. At the time, their product was called a Pluto Platter. After coming through That's Connecticut. That's when Pluto was still a planet. Pluto, Pluto was still a planet. You're <laughs> and still right. is in my book. <laughs> and the fascination with outer space, so it made perfect sense. But it, the name didn't stick until they came through the Northeast, saw this flying around college campuses and decided to rename the Pluto Platter to the Frisbee. And they changed the spelling a little bit, right? Great catch. You're absolutely right. So the original family name, Frisbee, with an IE, was, how would you say, changed public domain to EE, -E, of which they it wanted people to be able to pronounce it. Okay. That's so if I and throw this, Rich, yeah. will you catch it? Can you catch this, Rich? No. I think that there's glass yeah, yeah. and cameras. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to throw I this. I think the plastic gonna... sounds a lot safer. But the well, cool thing is, is that, so the Frisbee Pie Company went, it, it dissolved, but now you've brought it back, and we're bringing back all the famous history of the pie company. Of the pie company, you're absolutely right. From a, a, a story that started in 1871, if you can think of the throes oh of the Civil gosh, War. Oh, my gosh, unbelievable. A gentleman named William Russell Frisbee moved from Brantford, Connecticut, with his family to Bridgeport, Connecticut. Again, 1871. Ran the operation, there you have it, the picture right there. And what's fascinating, the gentleman with the horse, that's William Russell Frisbee. The little boy in the window, upstairs, second floor. I see him. Is his son, Joseph. That's who, Anthony from Prince Spaghetti Day. Who, who took <laughs> over, kidding. who took over the company in 1901. In 1901. And ran the company out of Bridgeport, Connecticut until 1957. So it was in business for a long time. Absolutely. Yeah. What, well, how did Dan O'Connor get involved with all of this? Well, my fascination with chasing plastic, flying saucers, as you want to call them, but the Frisbee as I knew it, the history, like you mentioned, Scott, fascinated me. You loved Frisbees so, before the pies. Playing Frisbee in the backyard and with friends on a school parking yeah, lot and so forth. Yeah, it's big these days. Frisbee golf, and they have the whole, everything. It's really Aren't expanding. you actually a Frisbee coach? I'm a coach as well. At, <laughs> At Western, I didn't know there was such a thing, but you're a Frisbee school. coach. Ultimate Frisbee, exactly. So the fascination in the story is, and not only as they were playing, but then the pies came onto market, and they were very successful. Until technology, business, productivity, and so forth, a lot of regional bakers didn't prosper and didn't make it through that change in technology. Yeah. So as a result, I would say the brand was dormant okay. for close to 60 years until... Lo and behold, of my 30 years of collecting and passion about sports and ultimate frisbee and disc golf, I decided to find out and get back in and figure out how I could bring this great product, I, I, great brand. So back now to you're market. running a, a huge bakery. This is true. Similar to the original William Russell frisbee, my family and I have stepped up and bring what, this product. What, what did you do before this? Were you? Uh... Well, I was fortunate enough getting out of college. I worked for a lot of major companies. Okay. Packaging. But this is like really, this is, you're, you're, this invest, is you're invested this is a, in. This, this is, is going one step beyond. But great background in marketing and sales, which enabled me to bring this product and bring the brand back to life. And you've got some other pictures too, but I think I heard now you're not using the buggy, but you have a restored classic car that you deliver these Frisbee pies in. That is true. Yes. I have a 1936. There you have it. Right, <laughs> on the, right in front of you. So it's a Chevrolet 1936 panel truck, which okay. is an original from that generation, as well as a trailer behind it. So I use this for special events. I've done weddings. I've oh, done, you can hire the Frisbee truck to come to your <laughs> wedding or your party? <laughs> We've done sampling and demos and all great things that have happened around the truck and the iconic brand that it supports. I like oh, they come in two little sizes. We have four inch, which are baked. We have three flavors, apple, blueberry, and cherry. 
baked with natural fruit juices and fruit is one ingredient. Oh, geez. So it's a better for you product in a category that's growing and a tasty product at a great price. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. It's, oh my mm -hmm. God, it and it's delicious. interesting. You and you've got the big sizes mm, yep. as well. Sweet potato, mm. pumpkin, Dutch apple, pecan. So where does one get a Frisbee pie if they don't get it from your buggy? Where do they get it so they can celebrate Connecticut history? Well, that's a great point. I consider myself a 24-7 virtual storefront. Okay. Consumers are interested throughout the country, which I'm currently doing, have been ordering the product, great reviews, and fantastic story. So it's available online. You can order it through my online retailer, or you can come directly to my website, send me a note, and I can arrange local delivery as well. There you go. And I've stores also, too, right? Well, exactly. So I'm also working with Wade's Dairy, another iconic brand. They've actually been in dairy business for 120 years, working in Connecticut. So they distribute to all the local delis, restaurants, carers throughout the state. And I'm expanding to West, Westchester, I should say, as well, with Croton Farms, which is taking it on, as well as into Manhattan with another strip. So I'm building the brand from the bottom up. Good for you. And looking for those opportunities for a major account. Good. This is so Somebody cool. knock on a door and be able to deliver. And you notice I've got a couple of Frisbees that were you sponsorship. Like mini Frisbees with I was your sponsoring mini the, the, the Pro Golf Tour last year. It's fantastic. So you can imagine that. There's I a professional it. golf tour out there throwing Frisbees. Well, thank you, Dan. To learn more about the thank Frisbee you, Pie Company, visit Frisbee. That's F-R-I-S-B-I-E, pie.com. The shop is located at 480 Barnum Ave in Bridgeport, Connecticut. Yeah. How awesome Delicious. is that?